Hello and welcome back to XCOM Camera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man with a little bit of a twist for hardcore. Uh, hardest difficulty, single save game and no, no uh, reruns of any of the missions. Today it's uh, Operation Stowburn. We're taking a similar team to it um, like we've taken the last time. Do we want to take Blue Blood or do we want to take someone else? We could, for instance, oh yeah, why not? We can, for instance, take Cheer Up and put Blue Blood in here. We haven't had Cheer Up in a while, so might as well put him together with uh, the team. And boy, boy, Cheer Up have, has not gotten any love. Look at his items. Nothing is upgraded. Nanomed kit, flashbang grenade, might as well use. I like the plasma grenade actually. You know what? Here's the deal. Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, good. What else do we need on him? Plasma grenade isn't bad. Flashbang grenade isn't bad either, to be honest. But let's go with the plasma grenade. I like it. And as for his pistol, an autoloader is okay, but what else can we give him? Expanded magazine, stock, venom rounds. I think the venom rounds are actually better than his grenade. Let's do this. Let's give him a stock. We're getting more money, so might be liberal with our spending. Stock here, and we can go with uh, Venom Rounds. I like it. Good. So we finally got Cheer Up, uh, cheer up with us again. And as you can see, uh, it's a new team structure. Cheer up in absence of someone who can heal. Let's see how well his shields are doing. It's only a single encounter and it's projected to be very difficult, but I somewhat doubt that that's going to be the case. Uh, with everyone in Chimera Squad leveled that extremely, I wouldn't know what the opposition is going to do in order to bring us down. I think short of really long three uh, three step missions I wouldn't see how anyone uh, would bring our team down at the moment special weapon at this location hostiles unaware of our approach good enemies steal one damage for uh, during the breach first through this entrance deals three damage. Uh, no, you know what? We're going in here. And thanks for having Cheer Up with us. That's exactly what we needed. Plus 50 crit. Yes, please. Okay. Because we are going to use Phalanx like you've never seen it before. Alright. Cheer Up goes in first. Um, yeah, there's only one enemy, and that one is not even really threatening. Android, a mech back there, Cobra, and a guard. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Um, yeah, we're not using phalanx like you've never seen it before, because we're just going to kill the enemies. All right, I should have used Phalanx. Thank you, game, for reminding us. <laughs> Whenever you get cocky in XCOM, the game has this unique ability to say, no, you should not have done that. 
That's the target. Okay, so how about we are giving torque here a kinetic shield. Sounds like a plan, right? I like the idea of explosives. We are definitely going to get shelter up here. The poison should kill him. And I would almost like keep the explosive a bit longer. I like Fanfire, but it's too low of a chance. Instead, let's move up. We only have one person who would be flanking us. And this here is a more aggressive position. We got um, we got return fire, so if they hit Cheer Up, he's actually going to return the fire. We can kill the android, just out of curiosity. Yeah, that's living targets only. Okay, fair enough. Hmm, I think I would want to kill the cobra. But the bomber is a better target. I really don't want to deal with him. Oh wow, I wanted to exchange. Oh wow, that was really poorly played. I'm sorry. I wanted to change positions with a bomber and then use uh, the uh, the blast. Oh my god, that was really bad. Good, fair enough. Let's just get the android down. That's a hit, and that should be what? Reinforcements now. We should fire back. For the love of God, why isn't that happening? Hitting the purifier. There we go. That's good. And now I think we need some more actions here. Shelter gets actions. There you go. Oh, I thought that his Psy Fracture would get actions as well. Well, that's unfortunate. We can still use the time to get into a better position. I would have elsewise given it to cheer up. Reinforcements are still coming, unfortunately. There we go. Done deal. Luckily we moved a tiny bit away. Oh, 
All right, that's one hit, and we shredded it. I uh, might as well use rapid fire just to make sure that the mech is definitely going to die. Oh, come on, Axiom. You can do better than that. Of course, minimum damage he cannot. Alright, cheer up. So far, didn't have the best mission. But we're going to change that. Shields himself. I'm wondering where his nano med kit is, by the way. going to deal with a trooper. The mech could die as well. I think the Guardian is a good target. 79%. Let's fanfire it and show off that Cheer Up is indeed a very, very good character. Bomber moves in. You know whom we can teleport into the range of that grenade? I would say the mech. After we've done that, how about we're just killing the Guardian? Yep, that absolutely makes sense. Getting the bomber closer to our action. Perfect. And there are the reinforcements that had been called originally. So if we were to explode this here, yeah, we don't want Axiom to take, although it's probably three to four points of damage, so it's not going to be the end of the world. this guy <sighs> and just time, save yourself. because um, it's more efficient not to heal it oh what the mech actually survived damn my trick backfired his grenade was so bad it did not hit no ammo. that's really bad Okay, we definitely need to get rid of some of these guys first. The mech is uh, late in the initiative, so we can still take care of it. The android with a shotgun goes first. Could have moved a bit closer to hit it. The cobra probably will go for... 
the decoy or just use more poison whatever Good. Next up, Shelter takes a shield. And what we can do is... We can select, do we want to deal with the bomber? or not four to five points of damage if we are hitting it it will die due to the poison yeah well, that's a hundred percent chance to kill well, how is that four to five points of damage please okay not good i should have thrown it here I was under the impression it's four to five points of damage, uh, which would have actually killed him together with uh, his poisoning. Good. The Guardian will take one shot or use his ability. Takes a shot, that's okay. Good. His trained ability, Wrath, drains life from a target in melee range. That is completely different than I would have uh, thought it uh, was, so I want to test that ability. Not just right now. Let's set up the Cobra. And let's set up the Guardian down there. Got to deal with the mech next. That's one more down. And he gently slides down the stairs. Low on ammo. Moving into cover. Well, once the Cobra moves, we should be fine. Takes acid burn. And it doesn't move at all. Armored up. Good, we got some stored uh, energy. I'd like to test his uh, his ability. Good, we're looking at wow, eight to ten. His his and and that could be even higher if um, if he had more uh, charges. I give him that, so his ultimate definitely makes a firefight much easier.
because all of a sudden everyone deals like plus two or plus three damage, right? Relocating, because I want to see the Cobra. And killing the Cobra. Yeah, so a couple of insights, um, because uh, this is quote-unquote the end game, and I haven't played much of the end game yet. Um, I noticed that Shelter, with his teleportation, uh, self-healing capabilities, and his Psy support, as well as the life drain in melee, and his ultimate is extremely powerful. Like the ultimate, uh, having a fifth person is definitely one of the stronger ones. Uh, and I'm almost inclined to say that he, uh, that he's a really, really uh, strong character. The other character uh, that I'm uh, that I'm impressed uh, about is or impressed of is Torque. Uh, her action economy is gigantic. I unfortunately can't use the poison spit, but that would just be the icing on the cake on top of it. She takes little to no damage, has a lot of hit points. Um, the bind ability, uh, together with uh, the weapon grip, uh, just unbinding, shooting, finishing targets, um, the mobility uh, to, to essentially drag um, allies to your direction. Yeah, that is it. It's surprisingly good. How do you inject so much naive optimism into terrible situations? I'm Canadian, or I was when Canada was a thing. Canadian, Canadian. Right, the maple flavored kind. Did you say flavored? Mm, medallions of Canadian, fresh off the griddle. Please tell me you mean Canadian bacon. Of a sort. So we do either have uh, the Assault Rifle with Banish, which I think is an incredibly good ability. The other one has Serial as an ability, which is also not bad. I mean, uh, even if it's once per mission, it is good. But I'll keep Banish because uh, killing uh, one unit uh, that is not injured at all, killing a tough unit is better. So. That's, I think, the only one who uh, uses assault rifles from uh, from our characters. Good, and we got a promotion here for Axiom. His final ability, Axiom, leaps up and slams the ground, destroying nearby cover and damaging nearby units once per mission. That is his Quake ability. He's making quite a lasting impression there. At this point, we can simply continue researching. And we now have a lot of scopes that we could use, or laser sights. I think both um, sensible upgrades, but probably not used that late in the game. Okay, in terms of training, I'd like to get Axiom here and increasing his mobility and armor by one, yes. And instead of Axiom, I think uh, we might want to go for Blue Blood. That means we're still Progressing the equipment, but just not as fast as we were before. Oops, sorry. Do we have another research item that we could do? That's six as well. Six bubbles and six bubbles. Hmm. Okay, we could get rid of the spec ops, but I actually want the extra credits, so eh, we're fine. Good. In terms of panic reduction, how about we're just doing this here? Babush. And then we're getting some more intel. Sacred coil is abducting 
humans for genetic experimentation. Those who survive are no longer themselves. This cannot continue. Find them, stop them, and get those people back. Lovely. Good. We got ourselves a couple of credits, which is good. Before XCOM, almost 20 years. Advent resettled us in 21. It must be odd to see so much change since the war. Honestly, everyone here needed something new. Feels good to be a part of it. Good, I think his loadout is absolutely fine. And cheer up's loadout is good as well. Not sure we shouldn't have given him the plasma grenade. Now I know what was missing. Um, nano med kit and venom rounds. That's exactly what we should have given him. Plasma grenade didn't really fit his profile super well. It certainly fits the profile of Claymore. And if he has two uses of it, you know what? Let's just stick with his plasma grenade. I think the grenade spam is a valid tactic and we might want to use or uh, keep that tactic. Trank rounds, adhesion grenade. Hmm, the adhesion grenade is good, but the shock grenade is better. I really like the shock grenade. It's super good. Uh, taking action action items away from the enemy is good, really good. Um, yeah, once we are going to use her, I don't think that we're sticking with the train grounds. I think we're rather um, going with a more aggressive ammunition. We have enough intel, way more than needed, so we don't need more intel. Good. What is the next mission? Flow control. That's interesting. Another side mission. Or alternatively, we're just going to shut down uh, the front facility. I think we're going to actually do the mission uh, this time because the 15... Um, the 15... Alarium will not make the difference. Oh, but that's research progress. Well, that makes all the difference. I'm sorry, that, but we're going to do that. Two days towards uh, that pro uh, project means we should be done with our research afterwards. And I'm still waiting for the time when we have researched everything before even Act 3 of the game is done and before we're fighting against Atlas. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to go for flow control then. Not even a question. Uh, no, we're not. We're not freezing there yet. I would keep the freeze for a bigger increase, like when it increases by three. On the other hand, that would trigger unrest. Do I want to deal with unrest? Probably not. Two days of research are really not that big of a deal, so let's freeze this and we're doing the uh, storyline mission uh, the next time. Thank you for watching, guys. This brings us to the end of uh, today's episode. Um, I appreciate uh, the run. It, it goes great. It's big, uh, big time fun. Um, so leave your comment down below and hit uh, the uh, subscribe and or like button if you enjoyed the content. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.